Hello comic book guys and gals and welcome to Comic Mag Musings. I am your host, Bill Miller. Super excited because this is the second part of our series on some CGC graded comics that we got from an internet auction, Comic Link. Um, we already did part one, this is part two, so let's take a look at the rest of the books. We already opened up the box, but I'm doing my best to not look at the books so that you get to see them first. All right, are you ready? Let's do this thing. Oh boy, that is fantastic. I collect Spider-Woman. So this is Spider-Woman number 11, Marvel Comics, February of 1979. Brothers Grimm and Madame Doll appearance. Mark Grunewald story, Carmi Carmine Infantino and Al Gordon art, Carmine Infantino and Frank Giacoya cover. This is a CGC 9.8 with white pages. So I'm excited to have this guy. And on the back, we're building Legos. So, very cool. And here we go. Oh boy, I am jacked to have this guy. I collect She-Hulk. And this one's a little bit more expensive than the others, obviously other than number one, because it's the last issue. So this is Savage She-Hulk number 25, Marvel Comics, February of 82. It says last issue. David Anthony Craft Story, Mike Vosberg Art, Mike Vosberg and Terry Austin cover. And this is a CGC 9.4 with off-white to white pages. Beautiful cover. And on the back, we're doing some more Expert Builder Series Legos. So definitely excited to have that one. All right, digging in. Got another package. Let's open this guy up. We'll have about two more comics in it, I guess. Maybe three. I don't know. Let's see. Right. Let's see what we've got here. Bam. Oh yes. Definitely excited about this one. So this is Red Sonia number 10, Marvel Comics, July of 1978. Roy Thomas and Claire Noto story, Frank Thorne cover and art. This is CGC 9.4 with white pages. And on the back, this guy is breaking ankles. pre-COVID sports. So, wonderful. I collect Red Sonia, so I'm excited about that guy. All right, next up. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm jacked about this one. So, this is an EC New, New Direction title. Piracy. This is Piracy number five. Piracy number one was actually uh, part of New Trend still, because it was published while the horror 
comics were still going. Um, but after that, this represented the uh, new direction, along with like psychoanalysis, impact, extra, uh, MD. So this is piracy number five, EC Comics, June to July of 1955. Carl Wessler and Jack Olick's stories, Reed Crandall, Graham Ingalls, and George Evans art, and Bernard Krigstein cover and art. This is a CGC 5.0 with off-white pages. So I'm very excited about this guy. And look at that killer date stamp. 1955 right there. That is awesome. Beautiful. And on the back, you can restore your performance for your car. And look at that great heavy sedan they've got there. Awesome. Love it. Beautiful. Love Pirates. It was, uh, Mark Twain said when, uh, that when he was a little boy, he would pray to God and he would tell him that if he was really, really, really good, he would ask if God would let him become a pirate. I don't blame him. All right, next we've got, oh boy, Miss Marvel. I'm liking that one. So I collect Miss Marvel as well. This is Miss Marvel number five, Marvel Comics, uh, May of 1977. Vision and Modoc appearance. Claremont, Goodwin and Shooter story. Jim Mooney and Joe Sinna art. Ed Hannigan and Joe Sinna cover. This is a CGC 9.4 white pages. And on the back, we've got the three complete fishing outfits from which you can choose. I'll take the one that comes with hush puppies. You know what I mean? So excited to have that guy. All right, let's see what we have here. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. We like Moon Knight. That is a gorgeous cover. So this is Moon Knight number 31, Marvel Comics, May of 1983. Doug Monk story, Kevin Nolan and Terry Austin art, and a Bill Sienkiewicz cover. This is CGC 9.4, off-white to white pages. Beautiful cover, right? And on the back is an advertisement for the next issue, issue number 32. So Moon Knight number 31. We collect Moon Knight, so excited to have that guy. And this is the last one. So let's see what we've got. Bigger package. So I'm assuming it's magazine size. And here it is. Ah, yes, this was a value pickup. So this is 1984, number five, Warren Publishing, February of 1979. Patrick Woodruff cover, eight page color story with art by Rich Corbin. Rex Havoc appearance. Len Wein, Jim Stenstrom, and Jan 
strand, strand, strand stories, Wood, Nebris, Nino, Maroda, and Alcala art. This is a CGC 9.0 with white pages. So I will be selling this guy at some point in the future. And on the back, we have collector's art books. So pretty cool cover. All right, and that, let's double check. All right, that will do it for the comic books that we have for today. I hope you enjoyed seeing them as I have enjoyed showing them to you. And if you did, I would encourage you to subscribe and ring that notification bell. That way you'll be alerted as soon as I drop new videos. Thumbs up and comments are always appreciated. And remember, we're taking over the world one comic book at a time.